Hi everyone. Okay, this is a quick video about primitive roots. Okay. So the idea is that um is our idea just um we just want to know does there exist let's say um an integer a such that uh you look at the powers of a modulo p so a to the zero a to the one a squared and so on and you get all of the units modulo p and here p is a prime we kind of want to investigate this problem or maybe more generally instead of a prime number p we might look at an integer like a uh, some other integer n. Okay, and as an example, you can look at p equals 11 and a equals 2. And if we compute the powers of 2, mod 11, we get 1, we get 2, that's 2 to the 1, 2 squared, which is 4. 2 cubed, which is 8, to the 4th, so we just take each previous one, multiply by 2, and reduce mod 11. So next is 16, but mod 11 is 5. And then next, after 2 times, next is 2 times 5, which is 10. And I'll tell you now, I know, at this point, I, I know that um, 2 will be a print, will be a primitive root modulo 11. I know I'm going to get everything at this point. Okay. And in fact, like you'll see, like um, 10 is negative 1, so the next one is going to be minus 2, which is 9. And after that will be minus 4, which is 11, 7, sorry. Then minus 8, which is 3. And minus 5, which is 6. And then 2 times 6 is 12, which is 1. So these are all the powers of 2, modulo 11. Right. So there's 10 of them. There are 10 units modulo 11. And you know, you can count, you can go through them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay. okay. So let's, um, in order to really define a primitive root, we need to know, um, we need to define something called the order of an integer mod, mod n. Okay. Let n be an integer. Um, the order of A, which is in UN, modulo N, is defined to be Um, let's see, the least positive integer d such that a to the d is just a congruence class of 1, or in other words, a to the d is congruent to 1 mod, mod n. Okay, that's the order of a mod n. Um, this definition 
requires that the GCD of A and N is 1, If GCD of A and N is not one, then we, it doesn't have an order. Okay, and we write, um, what notation should we use? Maybe like um, order of A. And if I want to denote the dependence like mod N, I'll put a subscript N. Okay, so just a, a example. The order of two mod eleven is ten. For example. Okay. Also, another we can also consider that um, the order of any integer mod p, where p is prime, actually divides p minus one. This only, of course, this the order is only defined when the GC of a and p is one. Okay, so let, let, let's just try and explain quickly why that is. Well, let's try and prove it, at least roughly. So let, let's take D to be the order of A, mod P, and write P minus 1, divide D into P minus 1 and you get a remainder, you get a quotient and remainder. Okay. Notice that the definition of order is it's a least positive integer, so D is not 0, so I can do this division algorithm. Okay. Now raise a to both sides, a to the power of both sides. You get a to the p minus 1. Well, that's congruent to 1 mod p, but a to the p minus 1 is also a to the dq plus r. That's uh, a to the d to the qth power times a to the rth power. This is all working mod p. And a to the d is 1, that's the definition of order. Okay, so this is really 1 to the q, or in other words, a to the rth power. This is all mod p. Okay. Now I know that d is the least positive integer such that a to the d is congruent to 1, but a to the r is also congruent to 1, and r is actually less than d. Now if r is positive, this is a problem. It means that d is not the least positive integer such that a to the d is congruent to 1. So it must be that r equals 0. So otherwise, if it's not 0, we get a contradiction to the definition of the order. Okay, so r equals 0. Well, that just means that dq equals p minus 1, so d divides p minus 1. Okay. And just more generally, the order of A modulo N actually divides phi of N. Remember, that's the number of elements of, of the units modulo N. And the proof is almost the same, except you just use, instead of Fermat's little theorem, which says that a to the p minus 1 is congruent to 1, you just use the theorem that 
a to the phi of n is congruent to 1 mod n as long as the GCD of a and n is 1. Okay. So that's what's going on with the order. Um, let's do one more example of like, let's actually compute the order of, of something. We already have computed the order of 2 mod 11. Let's just try and compute the order of 2 mod 17, for example. Okay. Well, we know it should divide 16. The order of 2 should be a divisor of 17 minus 1 should be a divisor of 16. Okay, so here's the possible orders. We can write them all down. Well, um, what are the divisors of 16? You have 1, 2, 4, 8, and 16. Okay. Well, let's raise 2 to all these powers and see what happens. So 2 to the first power is not 1. We're working, everything is mod 17. 2 is not 1 mod 17. Okay. Same with 2 squared. That's 4, so it's not congruent to 1 mod 17. What about 2 to the 4th? So, let's see, let's, it's 2 squared is 4, which is not congruent to 1. 2 to the 4th, well that's just 4 squared. That's 16. That's negative 1, so that's not congruent to 1 mod 17. And now 2 to the 8th. That's 16 squared, or in other words, that's minus 1 squared mod 17. That is 1. Okay. So, of the possible orders, we know it's not 1, we know it's not 2, we know it's not 4, and we know that 2 to the 8th is 1, so that is the order. So the order of 2 mod 17 is 8. Because we know that it, it's the least positive, so we know that 2 to the 8th is congruent to 1. And the only divisors less than 8 are 1, 2, and 4, and 2 to those powers don't give you 1. Okay, so that gives us that the order has to be 8. Okay. Um... So to end off this video, I just want to give you the definition of a primitive root. Um, let n be an integer. Okay. And let's suppose that the GCD of A and N is 1, okay, then A is called a primitive root mod N, if the order of A mod N equals phi of N, which is just the number of elements of number of units mod n. Okay, so with that definition I'm going to stop this video and in the next video we'll talk about some basic properties of, of the order modulo n. Okay, uh, thanks for watching.